Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday, May the 1st. Y'all, I cannot believe we're in May already, but here we are. Anyway, today's vlog, some of you have requested kind of like a Sunday morning routine, so I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to do that this morning. So, this vlog is all about our Sunday routine. So, I just got finished getting ready for church, but I'm going to start you back at the very beginning of the morning when the morning starts and we start getting ready and kind of how we do things in the morning. One thing that I didn't show this morning is the time that I got up. I woke up about uh, about 7.10 and I got out of bed about 7.15. So um, that's what time I got up this morning and started getting ready. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start you at the beginning of this morning routine. I hope y'all enjoy this vlog. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Good morning, everybody. So first thing in the morning, I just go ahead and get in the shower and get that out of the way. It helps me to go ahead and get woke up in the morning and go ahead and get myself ready before anybody else in the house wakes up. So when I get out of the shower, here are just a few products that I use. I love my Clean and Clear Moisturizer. I always put this on my face uh, before I do my makeup. And then, um, I don't know if this is like technically lotion, but it's the Shea Body Butter. The lavender from Tree Hut and so I've just been using that as my lotion after my shower and then once I'm completely ready here's my perfume that I use I got this for Christmas from Josh it is Versace bright crystal it smells really good Mama, I like that I like that kind you do so these three things are things that I definitely use after my shower and then I just go ahead and start my makeup I keep all of that in this little bag right here and then I just start putting it on one at a time. I usually go with my foundation first, which is this right here, the It CC Cream, and then my mineral powder, which is from Merle Norman. Um, and then I just go from there and just start putting everything on. So after my shower, I usually just go ahead and come downstairs in like my PJs because I don't go ahead and get dressed because I will more than likely get something on it. So I just sit Millie in the floor and let her play with some toys after I get her diaper changed. I go ahead and start opening things up for the morning, just letting some sunlight in the house. And the first place I go is the kitchen so that I can go ahead and get breakfast started for everybody. Um, normally I will go ahead and make Josh's breakfast, which is usually just two eggs and some toast. And I have the same thing at breakfast time. So I usually go ahead and get that started. And the girls usually start waking up like one by one. And um, there you can tell Bethany came in there with Millie, and they just sit in the floor and play with her for a few morning, minutes before Bethany. they're ready for breakfast. She good? Yeah. And there comes Everly. They usually start coming in one by one with their little sleepy heads. And then I go ahead and get the water filled up on the coffee maker if it needs it. It doesn't always need it. So I went ahead and filled that up for mine and Josh's coffee that morning. And then usually for breakfast, my girls usually just want a bowl of cereal and milk or a bagel. So this morning, or sometimes waffles. This morning, everybody wanted some special K. So it really was the first one to the table for breakfast this morning. Normally, while everyone is eating their breakfast, I am now making my breakfast for the morning. Um, sometimes Josh does get up before me and he'll go ahead and make my eggs. It just depends on whoever is up that Sunday morning. And then I go ahead and get their church dresses down. I normally pick that out the night before, but that morning I just went straight to the closet and picked out the dress then. <laughs> And then it's time for little Millie to eat. She has a little bit of playtime while I make breakfast. And then usually while I'm eating, that's when she will eat. Sometimes she will eat a little bit later. But there she is waiting on me to come to the table with her bananas. And then after breakfast time, it is coffee time. One of my favorite times in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and make my 
coffee and I this is my favorite right now is the hazelnut K cup so I have been doing that in the mornings with hazelnut creamer and it's really good together Once I fix my coffee, we normally have a little bit of time just to kind of chill out and hang. So I usually just sit down and sip on my coffee while the kids play on the floor. And at that time, Josh was actually getting Everly dressed for the morning. We take turns with getting kids dressed and just helping each other out. It's a lot of teamwork around here. And then I will go ahead and fix my hair. And in between that, I'm usually getting kids dressed or helping kids find things. It's kind of a multitasking time after my coffee. Um, and then I go ahead and get little Millie dressed and fix hair, whoever needs her hair fixed. This morning, Everly actually wanted Kylie to do her hair because she wanted a braid. That's another thing I am thankful for is older girls that don't mind helping with hair in the mornings because that is a lot of hair to fix. So Josh and three of the girls have already left and everybody else that's here usually just kind of hangs out this morning. What are y'all making? An envelope. Making an envelope out of paper. And Millie. Are you hanging out waiting on mama? Are you, are you, yeah. are you hanging out waiting on mama? Come on, she said, pick me up mama. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> And then the last minute things is just sticking a couple of things in the diaper bag. I usually pack Millie some baby food because we normally go out and eat on Sundays after church. And then we lock the door and we head out to church for the morning. self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the form, oh, uh oh, hold up, hear me, hear me, having a form of godliness, but denying his power. We live in this time that's described in these opening verses, amen, lovers of, of themselves, Lovers of money, boastful and proud and abusive. Hey, can I get an amen in this amen. house? Amen. We, were in, we, are, we live in an age where it's all about us. It's me, myself, and I. Amen. amen. Give me, give me. Lord, help me, give me. Provide for me. Do for me. Yeah. And we'll sacrifice life and limb to gain this world. We live in a time where the lines have been blurred as to what's right and what's wrong. We, we're somehow being set apart doesn't mean what it used to mean. That's right. It's more than going to a Pentecostal holiness church. It's more than, it's more than saying, yeah, we holiness people, we go to the church of God. Don't matter what denomination you go to. That's right. <clears throat> Don't matter what you wear coming in this. It, it matters about the condition of your heart towards the Holy Savior. That's what matters this morning. God is now secondary to society. God was primary to society when this when this rock 
When, when this ground was founded, when people started building these stick and straw houses on this little old earth here, or, or in the United States rather, God was primary. They went to war over God. They went to war over the Bible. They went to war over the rights to worship the true and living God. They fought for it. But now we just lay down. Right. Now the church has just rolls over to any old thing, that any old fad that sweeps across the stage. Amen. We're willing to just lay down what we know is truth. 2 Corinthians 6 and 17 says, Therefore, come out from among them. Come out. Come out and be separate, says the Lord. All right, it's time for lunch now, and Mexican it is. We're having Mexican for lunch today. Like that one? Ten piece. <laughs> right there, it's got the stock pot, the big pot, two frying pans, and two regular. Alright, so this is not part of our Sunday routine, but we ran into Bed Bath and Beyond and now I'm in Target just for a minute looking around, checking it out. We don't normally do this on Sundays, but we decided to today. So I'm in Target right now. Look at all the beautiful green. So pretty. I love all the green colors. All right, so we are back home. Actually, we've been home for quite a while now. Anyway, after church day, we went and had Mexican food and then um, we decided to go to Target and to Bed Bath & Beyond. I wanted to look at Pots and Pans and Bed Bath & Beyond because I'm considering getting a new set. That may be what I'm getting for Mother's Day. Um, so I wanted to kind of check those out and look those over. So we went there and while we were already in the area, I ran in Target for a few minutes. I didn't get anything in Bed Bath & Beyond. I got just a few things in Target. I found some more. <laughs> sleepers for Millie. I couldn't resist them. They were just too cute. I got a pair of shorts for the girls and also got a pair, two pair of jeans for the girls. So I'll show you what I got in Target real quick. That's not part of our normal Sunday routine. But I thought it's after church. Why not? I'll just bring y'all with me for the rest of the day. So, so here are the sleepers. It's another pack of two. This one is just blue and it has little sheep on it. I just thought that was way too cute to pass up. Um, and let's see, what does this pink one have on it? It's just got a little heart there. Super cute. So I got her the sleepers and these shorts are size 6X. So I got those for my little girls. Um, I usually just buy one pair to see if it's going to fit the three girls that wear the same size. And if they do, I'll order more of them. So I got that one. I also got them a pair of jeans in the same size. I thought these would be good going out jeans because most of their jeans from last year all have holes in the knees where they've worn them out. So I got a pair of those and then Emily got a pair of jeans. She's already took hers downstairs. I need more Cascade, so I picked that up while I was in there. And then I got two of these for Kylie and Allie's room. I thought they could hang these in their room, either for hats, purses, jackets, whatever. It's only got three on there, but that's perfect um, for them. So they got one each of those. And then I picked up some more of my Stoke cold brew because I came home after church, made me some, and that was the last little bit of it. So while I was in there, I picked up some more of that. And our last stop was Dunkin', and we got donuts for all the girls. All the girls have already took a donut and ate it, so that's what's left. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's vlog. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us on this Sunday. I hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'll talk to you in the comments.